please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. This game I picked up really cheap for $2.99, so I wasn't sure if it was all in there, so I thought we kind of could explore that together. It is for ages 8 and up. As you know, I work with preschool children, but I thought it was kind of cute, and I thought I might be able to repurpose it or modify some of the way it's played, so I thought we could have a look at it and see to explore together. So it is Guess Who. I've got lots of versions of Guess Who. This one's Mix and Mash. Wacky guessing game for up to four players. I got it for $2.99. <clears throat> Which funny face will you be? Pick your mouth, now your eyes, then your head, but don't look. Let the fun begin when you answer yes or no questions to guess which kooky character you created. When you think you know who you are, make a guess. All right, let's open it and see. It's a mishmash in this box. So we have some larger cards in here. Let's put these out first. I guess it's kind of the base or the top of the head, which will determine what character you are. There's a bunch of different ones. It could be an animal or a person. They actually have some descriptors down here. So we've got sneaky, sleepy, sparkling, scaly, angry, creepy, dirty, dancing, blood sucking, funny, evil, loyal, riding, cuddly, and stinky. So those are interesting. It comes with these four stands, which I think is how you kind of hide your picture away, facing away from yourself. You can kind of see it here, how the pictures are facing away from the people. So these are the eyes. So we've got silly, country, spying, drooling, shiny, slimy, spooky, bony, singing, thirsty, oinking, playful. So it looks like when you layer these cards on, you get the eyes in the right position. So we have a stinky purring. We have a mix of verbs and um, descriptors, but those are all kind of word targets that I work on often. So there's those. And the last category we have are the mouths. So we've got piglet, clown, kitten, vampire, panda, monkey, secret agent, robot, cowgirl, skeleton, zombie, pirate, pop star, puppy, and alien. So these are all nouns. So when we layer the pieces, we can get a whole description of who that is. It's a stinky, silly puppy. <laughs> I'm imagining for my preschoolers, I would match them instead of doing the silly part, but I guess we could do both. So I'll show you one that matches. We've got stinky, swinging, and monkey together. So you could play like a matching game with preschoolers if you wanted to try to find what goes with what. Um, so the monkey mouth and the monkey head look kind of obvious, but not as much this one. I was thinking we could pick something that looks similar or looks close and then give a choice. Is it a stinking country monkey or a stinking swinging monkey? So you could try to offer some choices and I don't think there's any wrong answers on this one. 
Let's next see if we got them all. There should be 15 of each. So we got all of the pieces, which is really nice. It's almost like no one even played this. They're very new. We did get the four stands. We got all those. And we got a character checklist pad as well. I'll show you that. This does look brand new. We got lots and lots of pages of the checklists. And again, when you run out, you can either print them online or you can just color photocopy them. So they are in English and French because I'm in Canada and they are double sided. So I'm guessing you just play it like regular Guess Who and you can mark off by process of elimination the various pieces and then you can decide and guess who you are. And then you have to write all three words up here. Which is why it's probably rated ages 8 and up. Just build your own character, pick an orange mouth card, a red eye card, and a blue head card and put them together and backwards facing you away from you and your opponents can see what you are and on your turn you ask a question I can be a yes no and then I click does my char character have a monster mouth do I have brown eyes and you can process of elimination guess what character you are using your special little checklist this one was made in 2009 Hasbro games but I think I would have to modify it for my preschoolers so that they could play and maybe would it's nice that they have um, the numbers on the back and that they each kind of part is a different color. So we've got orange on the back of the mouth, red on the back of the eyes, and blue on the back of the heads. And we've got Crazy Faces Mix and Mat. It's a little dollar store book, but I think this one goes really nicely with our new fun game. We could use that one. And the last one is Silly Faces, Color Forms. And we've got some little beings that are missing their face parts. And I believe it comes with stickers. Yes, it does come with lots of stickers. Eyes, nose are stuck together and mouth and ears. So that one's a little longer, but if you want to, you can pick and choose what pages you want to do and how many faces you want to put on each page. So I think my favorite one that would go with this game would be this Crazy Faces Mix and Match. That makes the most sense. And then so we could read the book and have a little bit of fun with that and then we could um, pick one from each pile and make some silly faces. So that's it for that game. I'm glad I spent $2.99 on it. I think we could get lots of play value out of that one. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Speech Fairies, all one word. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.